Hi everyone, this is Jim. Welcome to this postmortem of my Blitz game number 663. Uh, my opponent started off with G4, the Graub opening. Not the world's best opening. <laughs> so let's see, I played D5, which is a pretty natural response. Let's back up. Okay, that's the only move that has any um, any games in this database. Although E5 is also a uh, common response as well. Um, just this particular database doesn't have any games with E5 in it. Anyway, I played D5, which is okay. It goes bishop g2, which is, uh, I think, a mistake, uh, although it is one of the choices is the grub gambit. But I think uh, if you're going to play the grub, you should probably play with h3 and try and hold on to the pawn. Because after bishop g2 and bishop takes g4, uh, your black is just a pawn up and white has uh, pretty much nothing to show for it. Um, at first I thought, you know, the c4 move might be introducing some weird tactics with uh, queen here, check and uh, pick up the bishop, but uh, the bishop can always come back to d7 and block the check, so uh, as long as you don't block that diagonal, you're okay. Uh, let's see, e6 is not the most correct move here. And the uh, The best move here is uh, c6, so let's just go ahead and show that. Um, the uh, the main line, as you as of this uh, grub gambit, so c6, uh, queen b3 immediately you're taking, um, these are both ideas, take back. And then the, the queen comes out to b3 or knight to c3, just developing is how it goes. If he plays queen a4 check, once again, bishop to d7, and uh, there's no problem. So anyway, let's just go back to the game. I played e6, which is okay. And I guess I'll keep this up as long as there's some. Yeah, and then he takes. Um, normally they play queen b3 first. Um, we probably get a similar kind of position. He takes, and I was a little bit worried for a second because now this check does look like it's picking up the bishop, but I realized in time that I can take with the pawn and uh, reopen that diagonal. So there's no tactic here at all. Played queen b3, and I went knight f6, which uh, turns out to be the correct response. I wasn't, I was a little bit unsure at the time I played it because he can grab this pawn here, which he did. Um, the chess engine says actually, uh, well, first of all, white, the black is winning. <laughs> and secondly, black is winning by an even bigger margin after queen takes b7. So that's not the best move here. The best way for uh, white to play in this position is knight to c3. Just get some development and try and win this pawn in, uh, in some more convenient fashion. Uh, basically, white needs some compensation. He's, he's uh, down a pawn at this point. He needs to get a pawn back or needs to get his pieces out. Uh, but this way of grabbing a pawn with queen takes b7 is just no good. And uh, the way I played it is fine. I went knight bd7, and he grabs a second pawn, so now he's a pawn up. And uh, here, it's better to uh, chase the queen first with the rook. Um, it's interesting. They, you know, it almost looks like you can win this bishop, but not quite. So, uh, But the best play here is rook b8 hitting the queen. Say queen goes to c6. If you try something like rook b6, trying to chase the queen away from defense of the bishop, uh, the queen has this funny move, queen a8, and uh, and there's no way to, to win any material here. So um, so that doesn't help. But uh, then just dropping the bishop back. Or uh, actually, I'm sorry, that was not the move. The, the, the move was uh, bishop to c4, or c5. Getting, getting this other bishop developed. So just develop your pieces. You're a pawn down, but look at how much uh, development you've got. And uh, uh, white is a long way from castling and has no <laughs> no pawns forward. Uh, anyway, uh, that that's the um, the most effective way of playing. Let's see, I just grabbed the bishop. This also keeps an advantage to black. So, so black is still in the driver's seat here. But after bishop to e6, white is coming close to equalizing back to g2. I play g6 so that I can develop my pieces. And finally white starts developing a few pieces. So bishop to g7, plays d3 so he can get his bishop out. I castle. And uh, he goes bishop to g5. So bishop to g5 is a mistake and once again uh, I am better. Um, so I was, I was never worse in this game. From the very first move black has been better. The best that white has been able to achieve so far as uh, for a brief period he was uh, close to being equal. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I eventually decided moving the queen was better than than blocking with the pawn and the chess engine agrees. Just thinks I should move the queen all the way over to b8 and just hit this pawn immediately and uh, 
you know, you get this coordination going with the bishop and the queen against uh, b2 there. And uh, it looks like uh, that's the best way to play. I had, I had the idea of putting my rook on the b file, so I went with queen to c8 here. He went knight f3 and rook to b8. So this keeps an advantage to black. It's not like uh, I uh, <clears throat> blew the advantage at this point. It's just that uh, queen to b8 was slightly more accurate. Keeps a bigger edge. Let's see. And he played h4, which is just an outright mistake, giving away another pawn for no reason. Let's see. The chess engine thinks the best move here is bishop to c1, just coming back and defending with the bishop. He can't defend with the rook because of the... Uh, you can just grab the uh, knight here with the rook there undefended on the back rank. So bishop to c1 to defend the pawn is the best. <laughs> anyway, he ignores all that and plays h4. And uh, so from here on, uh, up until my blunder, I, I have a winning advantage once again. Uh, let's see. He plays knight e4. And I go queen b7. And I noticed I was putting my queen on this diagonal. But it's not a problem at the moment. First of all, there's two knights in the way. So that uh, that diagonal will not open up suddenly. And secondly, my queen is defended by the rook. So I was feeling fairly secure about my queen there. <laughs> Although uh, I immediately... Uh, Let's see. Oh, he didn't play that move. He played knight f to d2 so that he has this uh, knight check in reserve. And so right here I make the blunder. And it's a typical kind of mistake that I make, which is uh, I'm looking at all the things that I can do and I'm not looking at what he can do. And this uh, rook takes d2 uh, has a uh, weakness of the last move, as King's Crusher would call it. Um, it leaves the uh, queen undefended on this diagonal. And now he just has this uh, knight of six check tactic, which he played in the game. And uh, and I resigned after he grabbed my queen. Um, I'm down by about uh, three points in the chess engine estimation, so I have some compensation for the... Uh, it's not like I'm down a whole queen, but uh, it's it's enough to lose. <laughs> and uh, and kind of discouraging uh, to uh, to lose that after after my opponent played badly the whole game right up to this point. So uh, right here, instead of rook takes d2, I could play something like f5. That's the most uh, accurate way to uh, to deal with the situation. And notice that his queen is loose here too. And um, if he moves his rook knight with check, uh, I can just take the knight because my queen is defended. Uh, the chess engine recommends uh, this line, castling, and then I grab the knight and uh, I'd be up a whole piece here. So that's the way to play it. And instead, uh, I played rook takes d2 and uh, went down this path. <laughs> so anyway, sometimes that happens. That's, uh, that's how it went. So if you have any comments, leave them in the section below, and I will see you again soon. Bye.